Hi and welcome to Cash and Coins. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, I want to discuss reasons why you might not want to buy gold and silver. Hi, I hope you're doing well. As I said, today's video, I will cover a few reasons why you should not buy silver and gold. And this is based on my experience. I'm not a financial advisor and I'm just sharing my experience. Always do your own research and get a professional advisor. As I have mentioned before on other videos, it's important to have all of the necessary bills and obligations paid. Now, some of you may have heard the pay yourself first. I do follow this. I have money taken from my check from where I work into, my, to, into a retirement account. And this is how I pay myself first. I base my payments to myself as 10% of what I have earned. And as I made more money, I increased that amount. It's up to you when paying yourself that 10% if you want part of that to be in silver and gold. All right, now let's get to the nitty gritty. Don't buy silver and gold if you don't have the money for other responsibilities, bills, food, your health, etc. Things, things of that sort. Don't buy silver and gold if the spot prices are spiked higher than usual. Of course, silver and gold will jump around a lot. Look at last year's. Here are a few charts. Don't overextend yourself. Know your limits. Some people do well with creating a budget. Some don't need one. They know to set limits without a budget. I'm that type. I don't use budgets. Set a goal and don't buy outside of your goals. It will keep you from overspending and it will help you maintain your goals. Don't buy gold if you don't know who you're buying from. This is a big one. If you're buying from one of the big online dealers of silver and gold, you should not have any trouble. Now, for the most part, LCS, you know, local coin stores should be trusted. But I've heard some stories about buying fake silver and gold from local coin stores or pawn shops. So make sure that you know them well. I'm sure you can look on YouTube and find all the horror stories. I'm just trying to keep you away from that. Now, one more group are things like Facebook and the such. I'm not saying you can't buy from Facebook, Instagram, or eBay, or things of that sort. But you do open yourself to be taken advantage of, especially if you're new to the game. Don't buy silver and gold because of hype or fear of missing out. Have a plan. Know what type of buyer you are. Are you a flipper? Are you a stacker? A collector? Are you a combination of all three or two? Let me, let me break some of these down here for you in case you're not familiar with the terms. So to be a stacker, it's really, really, really easy. Just buy the most common and closest to spot price silver and gold and you will be very successful. If you buy other stuff, you might not be. Let's say you decided that the American Silver Eagle for the silver side and the Buffaloes for the gold side are the most popular and easiest to buy and sell. Just buy those two coins. You don't need to buy anything else. When it comes time to sell, if you live here in the U.S., you most likely will not have any trouble selling either of these coins. Now, if you bought a bunch of coins, a bunch of silver and gold that most dealers or local coin stores or other stackers don't know about, you might have trouble selling it. Because as a stacker, you want liquidity, the ability to convert silver and gold into money, into cash. Now let's go on to a flipper. If you are a flipper, you want to buy things that you know will be able to sell and sell for a profit. Like the Lunar Series from the Perth Mint or, you know, Queen's Beast or the Pandas. You have to know the market well. Now let's go on to a collector. Now, there are many, many types of collectors, okay? You have many, many types. Some, let's go down from the most basic, some who collect coins just want their birthday, and that's it. They're not buying it for value or profitability. 
They just want coins with their birthday on it. And that's fine because they're collecting coins with their birthday. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, you have collectors that know the market, know what coins have value at that time and seek to add those coins into their collection. You know, rare coins, what we call numismatic coins. So those are the three basic types there. Your flipper, your collector, your stacker. Now, I just want to say that by, by having goals and following your goals, you may do better. Don't buy just to buy. That can be a very costly mistake. And I hope this helps. Now, there is help online at Max, all the major dealers, the U.S. Mint, uh, other online uh, dealers. They all have information posted to help you on your journey. I'll show you here a couple examples so you can see. These are just a few things that you shouldn't do and things that you should do when considering the purchase of precious metals. Be responsible. Pay attention to spot price spikes. Don't overextend yourself. Set goals and a possible budget. Know who you're buying from and who not to buy from. Now, I believe if you follow these steps, you can be on the right track to building a goal-oriented stack of gold and silver or a nice collection of gold and silver. Now, if you have any more ideas, please put them in the comments. Who knows, you might be able to help someone, and that's a good thing. Thank you so much for your time, and I really hope this helped you out. I hope it was informative to you. Please like, share, subscribe if you're not, and comment. Like I said, let me know any tips you might have. And thank you very, very much. And as I always say, have a wonderful, wonderful day.